Hey everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I'm sharing with you my Sephora Holiday Savings Event Haul, also known as the Sephora VIB Sale. I am a Rouge tier member, so I was able to begin shopping last Thursday night around 9.30 Pacific time is when I placed my first order. And Sephora's shipping is kind of strange because I placed that order, as I said, around 9.30 p.m. Pacific time on Thursday, and it arrived at my house by, I think, 10 a.m. on Saturday. I placed another order on Friday, and that one hasn't even shipped yet, and I'm filming this on Tuesday. So go figure. I think that perhaps it's because I was one of the very first to order. And then it could be as orders start rolling in, they get more and more backed up. So it is what it is, but the bulk of my order did arrive on Saturday. I began playing with everything that was inside. I posted a photo on Instagram. And in the caption, I wrote that I would not be sharing what was on my face until I posted this video. However, people were not okay with that and insisted that I share what was on my eyes. So here is that first Sephora order and I will begin with what was on my face in that photo. And what was on my eyes was this palette from Too Faced. It is the Salted Caramel. This was completely an impulse purchase. I do not need any more eyeshadow palettes, which is why I passed on the new Huda Beauty Naughty palette, I think it's called. I just really felt like I did not need any more eyeshadow palettes. I have several that I've purchased recently that I absolutely love that I've talked about in recent videos. And then I also did just order the Scott Barnes Glamazon eyeshadow palette, which I did receive already and it is beautiful. And there will be a tutorial using that palette coming soon, but... Somehow this ended up in my cart. So this is the palette that I used in that photo. If you are not someone who can wear warm tones or these sort of orangey browns, reddish browns, then this would not be the palette for you. I do have to mention that it wasn't just this on my eyes. I did use a shade from the Dior Backstage Glow Face Palette in Rose Gold that I ordered. I believe this might be sold out as of the time that I was doing my links for this video, which will be in the description box as always. Sephora did have this listed as out of stock, but as you know, sometimes things come back into stock during the sale, so make sure you're signed up for notifications. I have wanted one of these Dior highlighter palettes for a long time, and highlighters were on my list of things that I told myself I was no longer going to buy, but this one just seemed so pretty. And let me be honest, I am one of those people that can justify any purchase. And I just told myself I had to have this. And I was going to save $8. So in that photo, I did use my finger in this shade right here and pop it onto the center of my lid. I do have this on today, but just a little bit. The blush I have on as well as my lip color I'll be showing you in a couple of minutes. I once again have on the Salted Caramel Eyeshadow Palette on my eyes, and I will be doing a Get Ready With Me video using these products very soon. I hope to film that in a couple of days. So, so far I like this. I'm not, honestly, I'm not wowed by it. For some reason, when I see other people using these Dior highlighter palettes, they seem to be much bolder. But I guess that's not a horrible thing. I mean, I do have mature skin and I do have texture and fine lines, so I don't really want something that's super blinding. But it is really pretty and I am happy with my purchase. And the lip combo from this photo. So many people asked about that as well. And that was a lip combo that I discovered on TikTok. I was just scrolling through my For You page and a video popped up of this girl showing her holy grail nude lip combo. And I know a lot of you do this as well. You see a lip combo in a video or in a photo and you immediately think to yourself, I need that. 
I need whatever is on that person's lip. I need all of those things. And you hope and pray that maybe you already own some of the things that are in the combo, but sometimes you don't, and sometimes you feel like you have to go out and buy those products, which is what I did. I did already have one of the products in the combo, which was the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Liner. And then she paired it with the Charlotte Tilbury KKW Lipstick. And I could have sworn that I already owned this. So I went through all of my Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks and I could not find it. I remembered it being a very, very light color, which it is, but if you sort of just dab it on and blend it out with your finger, it does become more natural. And you can do sort of an ombre look with the lip liner and the lipstick. When I do that try on get ready with me, I will redo that lip combo. I just really wanted to wear this one for this video because my viewers have told me that they really like seeing me in bright lipsticks. So I of course wanted to wear the bright one from my haul in this video, but you will see me demo this combo soon. I also like this shade for just applying to the center of my lips. I don't think I would use it on this particular color, but if I had another deeper color on and I just wanted to make my lips appear a little bit fuller, I could dab this in the center and pat it out. But back to that combo. That was just the lip liner, this lipstick, Kim KW, and then I topped it with this Dior Addict Lip Maximizer in 013 Beige. I really do like these glosses. I have, I think, one or two other shades in this maximizer. I can't say that it gives any true plumping to my lips, but it does feel good. And this color is great. It's a wonderful, just pinky beige nude. You can put on top of your bare lips or you can put on top of really any lipstick. And I truly am loving the combo. And so many of you loved it as well. So now you know what it was. Now, in case you were wondering what else was on my face from my haul that was in that photo, there really wasn't any more makeup because I did not purchase a new foundation. I did not purchase a new concealer. Well, I did purchase a new blush, but I wasn't wearing it in that photo. I'm wearing it now, but it didn't really go with that particular look. The other newness were hair products. And normally, if I were going to be talking about hair products and specifically raving about hair products, I would want my hair to look exceptionally good. So you all would look at my hair and think, wow, those products really did make her hair look good. <laughs> Unfortunately, the timing of this video didn't quite work out because I'm going to get my hair colored tomorrow. I used a little bit of a root cover up for this video, but trust me, my grays are horrible and I need my highlights touched up and I don't like to go in and get my hair done with freshly washed hair. So that's why my hair looks like this. I tried to make it look as presentable as possible, but what I will do is I will post another photo of my hair from the day that I did use all of these products. But I think that's a long enough explanation of why my hair doesn't look very good right now. But I am happy with everything that I purchased. I started off my hair routine by using the Whey Detox Shampoo. I don't know why, but recently my hair has become greasier faster than it has in the past. Normally, I can get away with just washing my hair twice a week. But lately, I've been noticing by after, let's say I wash my hair on Friday, by Sunday, it's just feeling greasy and gunky. So I thought, why not try a detox shampoo? And this one had good reviews, so in my cart it went. And after first use, I have to say my hair did feel cleaner. I did feel like a lot of that oil and gunk was gone, but my hair wasn't all dried out. But then again, I mean, I've been an Olaplex user for a long time, and that's one of the things that was in my second order. Even though I did buy the holiday set, which I will link in the description box and I talked about in my recommendations video, that's not a full size conditioner in there. I always have to have a full size bottle on hand and I figured I'll just save the smaller size for when I travel. I have been trying out for the last four to six weeks a different shampoo and conditioner system that will help with, that is supposed to help with 
hair growth and hair thinning, and I really feel like it has, but you know, those kind of things do take some time, and I just can't give up my Olaplex habit. I feel like I just, I think I've already said this, but I have to have it at all times. So anyway, love the detox shampoo. I repurchased the Whey Body Cleanser. I just finished mine a couple of weeks ago and I tried using some other body washes, body cleansers, but nothing compares to this. I love everything about it. I love the clean smell, but I love that it doesn't conflict with any fragrance I wear after I get out of the shower. It lathers really well. It makes my skin feel soft and not stripped. And yeah, this was a no-brainer. I knew I had to get another one. I did try a bunch of products from the brand Gisu. I don't know if you saw my luxury products that are worth the money video, but in that video I talked about the Gisu hair mask and how much I loved that product. I had been wanting to try this brand for so, well, I should probably hold it up. <laughs> I've been wanting to try this brand for so long and prior to I think about four or six weeks ago it was only available on the Gisu website or from Revolve. It wasn't available at Sephora is what I'm trying to say and once I heard that it was coming to Sephora I got very excited. So I had actually purchased the hair mask from Revolve and I've been using that about once a week and I love it but I had been really really wanting to try the oil but it's expensive. However, Sephora sells the mini. Now, value-wise, it always makes more sense to just go ahead and buy the full size, but I really just wanted to try it. I didn't feel like spending 80 or $90 on a hair oil if I didn't know that it was going to wow me. And this is just so cute. And it wowed me. I mean, I did use a lot of new products that day. I've used all of these things together, so maybe it was just a combination of everything that made my hair look and feel and smell so good, but um, I will continue to use these products and obviously let you know. If I love them, they will definitely appear in a monthly favorites video. The smell is amazing. So good which is why I also purchased the mini hair perfume. These look so beautiful on a bathroom vanity tray. You know, I was going to spray this in my hair right now, but there's really no point. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere, and tomorrow, as I said, I'm getting my hair colored, so I'm not gonna waste it, because it is pricey. And I've never owned a hair perfume before, but I think I'm a convert. This one smells so good. I am the worst at describing fragrances. I mean, it's honey infused, so it smells sweet, but it also has a hint of floral to it, and it's not so sweet. I know some of you are thinking sweet. Ooh, I'm not, I'm not a fan of real sweet fragrances, especially in my hair that lingers all day long, but no. It's fresh. It's clean. It's a little sweet. I love it. And then I ordered the Prep Me, Prime Me, Define Me Propopolis Infused Polishing Primer. So I did put this in my hair before I heat styled, but I could not see that this had any sort of um, heat protectant in it. So in my second order, I have the Gisu Heat Protectant. In my Sephora Holiday Savings Event Recommendations video, I did speak highly of, and obviously recommend, the Living Proof Restore Instant Protection Spray. Since I was trying all these other Gisu products, and I really hope that's the way you pronounce it, I'm sure someone will correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. Since I was buying so many of the other products, I thought, let's try the whole system. Let's compare. That is part of my job, to let you know which products are the best of the best. And while I love this, maybe I will love the Gisu heat protectant spray even more, or maybe it won't be as good, and I'll go back to this. Who knows? I do not have that order yet, so that remains to be seen. All right, what else? Should we talk about my cheeks and lips? On my cheeks, I'm wearing the Patrick Ta Double Take Cream and Powder Blush in the shade Do We Know Her. I already own this in She's So LA, which is a fantastic everyday neutral blush color. 
And I am very thankful to the subscriber or viewer who told me that you're actually supposed to put the powder blush on first and then dab on the cream. It sort of goes against everything as a makeup artist I was taught to do, which was to apply creams first and then powders, but it actually does work. And this color is often sold out at my Sephora in-store, but it was available online at last check. I love the powder shade on its own, but I did add a little bit more color by using the cream. And I just used my fingers and I dabbed it on. And it goes perfectly with my lips, which are the lipstick in She's Not From Here, which as you can see is an orangey red. And I really do like this formula. It's a velvety matte. I already have Oh She's Single in both the lipstick and the liner, which is more of the nudie shade, which looks beautiful with the She's So LA cream and powder blush. I did also purchase the matching lip liner. This is the third Patrick Ta lip liner that I own. And at first I hated the applicator on this how you have to push it up and it's on an angle. And I know Patrick did it for a reason. He felt like it was the best way to really outline the lips. But for some reason, I struggle with it. I would prefer if he would change these over to either a pencil that you sharpen or to a twist up that just has a regular rounded tip. I am getting used to it though. I'm getting better at applying the lip liner this way. I think you get the picture. I'm not in love with the angled tip. All right, we're down to just a couple more things. I ordered more Shiseido facial cotton. I don't know why I wait until the VIB sale to order this cotton because I really only save $2, maybe three, but all the savings do add up and I cannot live without this cotton. I believe it was Michelle Wong that turned me onto this cotton about two or three years ago now, and I just can't be without it. And now my kids like to steal it from me because they don't want to use just regular old cotton balls anymore. <laughs> they want to steal mom's fancy cotton. I can't blame them. And then this I have not tried yet, actually. It is the Natasha Denona Mini Zendo Palette. This was another impulse purchase because as I said, Early on in the video, I kept saying to myself or trying to tell myself that I don't need any more eyeshadow palettes, but I saw Natasha Denona do a little mini tutorial. I think it was on her Instagram, either in her feed or in her Instagram story. And my willpower was gone, so this too ended up in my cart. It really is beautiful. And in the tutorial she did, this silver shade, whoo, it was Stunning. Usually these Natasha Denona mini palettes are sort of hit or miss for me. So I'm hoping that this one will, um, you know, work out, that I'll like it. And then lastly, one more lip product that I also have not tried yet. This is the Fenty Slip Shine Sheer Shine Lipstick in the shade Glazed. I had been wanting this one for a while, but every time I would go into a brick and mortar Sephora, this particular shade was always sold out. I do really like the packaging on this. And this just seems like a really great everyday color. It's a nude pink, go figure. Those are my favorites. Now I highly doubt this will stay on under a mask, but I still wear makeup, obviously in my videos and when I'm just at home, even though I'm not going anywhere. All right, friends, that was my Sephora holiday savings event 2020 haul. As I mentioned, there are a couple of other things that I do still have on order, and there is no saying for sure that I won't be placing any more orders. I know as I start watching other people's haul videos, I'm sure I will be finding more things that I absolutely have to have. So if you're not already, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel and that you've hit that notification bell so you are notified when I do upload that try on get ready with me and my favorites videos with some updates, you know, what worked, what perhaps ended up being a fail. So please subscribe if you're not already. You can also find me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter under the same username. It's all Risa Does Makeup. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and I look forward to seeing you all again very soon.